Well, let's see, oh, everybody. Uh, back at it this morning. I'm trying to get a little work done before it gets too hot. It says it's in the 70s right now, but it says real feel 98. So uh, I don't understand. If it really feels like it's 98 outside, doesn't that mean it's 98 outside? But I'm going to get out here and uh, get these animals fed and jump on the tractor. I've got some uh, sumac trees that have come up in the garden area that's been overgrown and I'm going to try and pull them up with the tractor real quick and maybe move a few of them. I'll show you all what we got working on. Don't be mean, Bella. I'm trying to get her used to life on the farm. Go horse. Coming down for breakfast. So what we're working on is trying to reclaim the garden bed that's been just overrun. Uh, weeds and stuff mostly. But I've got these sumac trees that have come in here. They're actually starting to go to seed, so I need to get them moved. They shoot these runner roots there. And then those runner roots will put out new trees. <coughs> So I'm just taking the tractor bucket and just raking it along, pulling them up. But I've got a tiller coming. Uh, should be here, actually, was supposed to be here yesterday at uh, Home Depot. And when I get the tiller out here, I'm going to use it to try and reclaim this garden. That grass right there has got potatoes underneath it. i got to get them pulled up. But i got to get all this sumac out of here. And I need a little soil along the edge of that fence line anyway, and I'm plopping them down there. And if any of the sumac trees survive, hopefully they'll grow up and we can use them for shade. And sumacs are a uh, nitrogen fixer, so they can uh, work on that soil right there for me. And I'm gonna eventually be plopping in mulberry trees. There's actually a beautiful mulberry in there with the uh, mimosa and some other nitrogen fixers right there. I'm gonna run them along the side to shade that area some, and uh, they're all gonna be plants that can drop food and help feed the animals a little bit. The mulberries, the chickens and stuff will love it. And then we got these pepper plants right here. Oh, there's bugs getting on them. I had to pick these peppers. But it's Tabasco pepper plants from last year died down to the roots and then come back and they were prolific producers all the way up until just about Christmas so I want to try and keep these alive so that's why I'm going to work around them kind of till around it and just let these live as long as they can there's a couple sumacs right here I'm going to have to get my hand I think we got these marigolds that reseed every year out here I'd love to keep them around, so I may have to dig them up by hand as well. But that's what I'm working on, getting these sumacs dealt with. Hopefully in the next few days, I'll get over there and get them potatoes mowed and then uh, harvested. And we'll go from there. Well, that's what we got 
right now looks terrible, but give it time, see what it does. You got this right here. Put it up as a berm to stop them from going up underneath the fence right there. And if any of these sumac trees survive the onslaught of the goats and the stress of this move, which they should, they're quite invasive. Well, vigorous, I should say. Can't call them invasive, they belong here. But uh, what'll come up from the root will grow fresh. The chickens will help level this some and the rain and stuff, getting it looking good. And the geese will keep the grass kind of mowed off of it when they stick their heads through the fence. But the sumac trees should be able to grow up through and do something like this. Now this looks pretty bad right now, how thick and just uh, brambly it is, but it's actually a native legume species that grows here in South Alabama that is a really good nitrogen fixer. And it lives long enough to go to seed. It is kind of shrubby like a bush, but it can't handle frost. So this is what you wind up with after a frost and it drops all of its seeds. And what I plan to do is harvest seeds and then chop and drop. We've got this <coughs> mimosa tree, the Persian silk tree. She's also legumous, nitrogen fixing. Uh, she's a nurse tree for the tree that I actually want in here, which is a wild um, mulberry planted by the birds. The birds planted it up next to the house and I transplanted it down here. Last year, the goats, it was a little stem about like this size and the goats picked it dry. There was nothing on it. And now we have a tree feeding off of this abundance here. That's about 12 foot tall. And I'm going to come in here and start air layering these branches off to make more. And I want the sumac trees to feed them. Sumac is a pioneering species and it comes in into a you know field or derelict area that's being ignored and it starts prepping the soil for things like the mulberries and the oak trees and pecan trees and the such. And what it does is uh, once it has that sto soil set up and ready, it nurses those trees until they overshadow it. Sumac can't handle shade. So it dies in the shade. So if I can, once those trees established, they should shade out the sumac that I have there and we'll just have our big, beautiful trees. And this little area right here will be something similar, but I'm eventually just gonna use it as a seed plot for those native legume species. I can't remember what they're called. I have it looked up somewhere. I'll have to find it, but uh, they grow really good for one year and die. So if you're just trying to establish an area for food forestry in South Alabama, North Florida, that's probably a good one for you. But uh, I plan to experiment with them some more in the other areas over there where I've got elderberries and sumac and stuff growing. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what I got going on today. I'm probably gonna be moving the sheep over either today or tomorrow if I can get an area situated for them. I gotta go in there and start cleaning up the ground cherries that have invaded their pen. It's not too many in their main area. So I should be able to go in there and clean that up pretty good without too much trouble. But we'll see. Uh, either have that on a video today or maybe a video in the next day or two. But I'm thinking that this is gonna be it for today. I gotta go in and cool off for a minute and then come back out here, get back to it. But what for watching?